with the funeral for Lady Margaret Thatcher now underway. Amy Kellogg joins us live from London with more. Amy? Steve Brian Gretchen, the funeral for Baroness Thatcher has just got underway at St. Paul's Cathedral. It actually uh, has been a long morning leading up to all of this. It's a very elaborate funeral. This is just about as, a, as, a, as elaborate of a funeral as you can have in the United Kingdom. More elaborate would be a state funeral, which Margaret Thatcher said she did not want. This is a ceremonial funeral with full military honors. And there was a procession this morning that began at the Palace of Westminster and then went to St. Clement Danes Chapel, which is the Royal Air Force Chapel, and then moved along Fleet Street, Whitehall Fleet Street, and ended up at St. Paul's Cathedral, where it has just gotten underway. Now, some people have complained that it was really unnecessary to roll out the pomp and ceremony to this great an extent at taxpayers' expense, but this is the sort of funeral the level of honor that the government has deemed necessary and appropriate for a woman who had such a strong legacy in this country. And there are plenty of people who have wanted very much to honor the late prime minister's legacy. The crowds outside along the streets this morning were quite large, eight or ten deep in many places, lining the route of the elaborate funeral cortege. 2,000 dignitaries from 170 countries are attending the funeral. Former U.S. Secretaries of State Henry Kissinger, George Shultz, James Baker, and former Vice President Dick Cheney. There's also a congressional delegation here. Uh, the Queen, Prince Philip, and obviously numerous British politicians are all here. Of course, there have been uh, concerns about security generally because uh, Margaret Thatcher was a divisive prime minister, and there are some people who have wanted to protest. There have been some protests uh, in the weeks since she has died, but this morning we did not mm -hmm. see any disturbances. In fact, we saw some people throwing flowers at her coffin mm. as it went by, and then, of course, in the wake of the sure. bombings in Boston, there's also concern that... Uh, Anything could go wrong at a public gathering. Absolutely. So security has been stepped up. There are 4,000 officers gotcha. on the streets today. Thanks, Amy. Back to you. Meanwhile, we just showed it to you, a chilling image. This could be the bag holding the second bomb in Boston just moments before the explosion. How